Hello everyone. I hope you're staying safe and staying sane during this difficult time of this social isolation and this distant learning. I want to share with you a way that you can use your phone's camera to pre-record a lesson that you can upload to YouTube and distribute via Schoology that the students can then stream and respond to. I utilized this the other day and I pre-recorded an entire lesson and I encourage the kids to share back with a video of themselves so they didn't have to type out their response. They could just share it with their cell phone. And I, I got to tell you, with, with the distance that we've had from the students as well as other people and friends that we're used to seeing on a daily basis, it was really a joy to hear them respond back. And many of them said, How, hope you're doing well. How are you doing? How are you holding up? Um, and so I think that that Lasallian component of, of meeting the needs of our students outside of the classroom level, outside of our own discipline, um, is really effective in this manner. The easiest way to record a lesson or lecture is right on your cell phone. Using the camera app with video, you can record it horizontally or vertically. I prefer horizontally. It works best if you prop it up against something like a candle or a fake plant. You can always find interesting and creative places to film from that keep it exciting for the students. Like from your favorite chair in the living room. Or laying down on the couch. Or from the other side of the room. From the office. Or from the other side of the house. There's definitely a list of places you should not film from. For that list, please reach out to Mr. Fultz. To upload directly from your phone, we're gonna use the YouTube app. This example is being shown on iOS. We click YouTube, and at the top, we're gonna to click the camera and select the file that we would like to upload. We can trim if we would like to shorten it we can also select some different color options that aren't necessary. Click next on the top right and give your video a title and description. Under privacy, it's default to public, but we would like to click unlisted, which allows us to only share it with people who have the link. From there, click upload and your video will upload to YouTube and begin to process. Once processed, you'll find it at the top of your video's screen. From here, click Share to generate a link and bring into an assignment in Schoology to share with your students. Next, I'll show you how to upload a video that you've made from your phone to Google Drive to then use your laptop to upload to YouTube. So first, I will begin on my phone going into the Google Drive app. This is universal for both iPhones and Android phones. So I click Drive and then from there I click the plus at the bottom of the screen. Upload, Photos and Videos, Recents, I click the video I like to upload, click Upload. Simple as that. That goes up to the Google Drive, and I'm logged into my actual St. Joe's account for this. And then I do the same thing on my computer. On my computer, I will go to Google Drive where the file is. It seems that because I just did it, it is processing the video to view. So I'm actually going to click Download. And there it is in my downloads folder. I'll move it over to the desktop. Once you have your file on the desktop or somewhere that is accessible, you can now go into your YouTube account. Now I'm using my personal email for this account. And I go into the create a video again. I'm going to go upload. And it's essentially the same process as it was on your phone. Drag and drop a file you want to upload or select. We'll select it right from the desktop. There it is. 
open and it begins the upload process. I give it a title, test lesson four. I scroll down. I have to approve that it's okay for kids, which is fine. And then I go up to the top where it says video elements. Once it's processed and uploaded, you could change some of this, but nothing needs to be changed. If I go to visibility, tab three, I want to select unlisted. This allows anybody who has the link to view the video, but it doesn't make it searchable. So no one can just go on and search and find that particular video. They would only have access to it if you shared the link with them. And then I go to save. Video published, test lesson for YouTube. Here's my link. I here click copy. Then I can go to Schoology. In Schoology, I go to whatever course it is I'm uploading. I can go to a new assignment. Within that assignment, I can select text. And over here we have link. Copy the URL that we just had. Insert. And then I'll create this. From there, I go into the lesson, ensure that the link works properly by clicking it. It opens up YouTube. This is a test lesson plan to upload to YouTube. There it is. Easy as that. I hope this helps you out. If you have any other questions, feel free to let me know and I'd be happy to, to address them as they can be. God bless everyone. Take care.